Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching HTML tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about HTML tables. So let's get started. I have opened brackets and now I'll go ahead and create a new file and I'll save it as tables.html and I will write the following HTML. So we have the doc type HTML, opening and closing HTML tag we have the opening and closing head tag and we have set the title to tables and we have the opening and closing body tag which is empty at the moment and now let us go ahead and open live preview all right in html we use the table tag to create tables so let us go ahead and create a table using the table tags now a table consists of rows and columns and in HTML to create a table row we use the TR tag. So let's say our table consists of two rows and two columns. So we'll first create two rows and now each row contains two columns that is two data. So for that, we'll use TD tag. So this is for the first column and this is for the second. Similarly for row number two, this is the first column and this is the second. And now let us fill the data. So this is cell one, this is cell two, cell three, and cell 4. We can also give border to each cell of the table using the border attribute in the opening table tag. So let us go ahead and copy this and create a new table and let me insert a horizontal line. Okay. So now for this table we want border for each cell. So inside the opening table tag, we'll create the border attribute and we'll set the value to let's say five. So we now have border. Similarly, we can give cell spacing using the cell spacing attribute in the opening table tag. So let me go ahead and copy this and let's say we want to set the cell spacing attribute value to let's say 10. So now we have cell spacing of 10 pixels. We can also give cell padding to the content. Cell padding is a space surrounding the content within a cell. So let us go ahead and copy this. So now we have a table and we want a cell padding of let's say 10 pixels. So we'll set the cell padding attribute value to 10. Let's say we want to merge two cells of a table. For that, we use call span inside the opening TD tag. So let's say we have a table and we want to merge cell one and cell two. So in order to do that, we'll remove this cell two and inside this td tag we'll set the call span value to 2 and now the two cells are merged into one similarly we can merge two rows into one for a given column so for example let's say we want to merge cell 1 and cell 3 into one row so let us go ahead and copy a table. So 
so we have a table and we are going to merge cell 1 and cell 3 so we will remove the cell 3 and inside this td tag for cell 1 we'll create the row span attribute and we'll set the value to 2 and now we have cell 1 and cell 3 merged into 1 we can also color the border of the table using the border color attribute in the opening table tag so let's say we have a table and we want the border of this table to be red so we'll set the border color attribute value to red and now we have a table having red border we can also set the background color of the table using the bg color attribute in the opening table tag so let's say we have a table and we'll create bg color attribute in the opening table tag and let's say we set the value to light yellow so now we have a table having light yellow background color now let's say we want to create table caption so for that we use the caption tag so let us go ahead and create a table having border set to 1 and we want caption let's say sample table and let's say this table has two rows and two columns And let's say this table has a cell padding of 5 and cell spacing of 5. So we have the table caption. Now let's say we want table header. So for that we use the T head tag. So let us go ahead and create a T head tag and inside this T head opening closing tag will create a row and since this table has two columns so it will have two headers so we'll use TH tag and let's say column one another TH tag and we set this to column 2 so now we have a header for this table now let us create the table body and for that we use the t body tag and remember the t body tag must appear after the t head tag so let us go ahead and create a table body tag and let us copy this table content inside the table body tag so now we have our table we have the caption we have the table header and we have the table body and now let us go ahead and create the table footer 
So in HTML, in order to create a table footer, we use the tfoot tag. And remember, the tfoot tag must appear before the tbody tag and must appear after the caption and thead tag. So let us go ahead and create a tfoot tag. And since this table has two columns, so we'll first create a table row and inside this we'll create a table data which will become a column and let's say we want to merge the two columns into one so we'll set the call span attribute inside this opening td tag to two and let's say we'll set the content to footer so now we have a table with a caption, header, body, and a footer. We can also set the width and height of the table using the width and height attribute inside the opening table tag. It takes a value in percentage and in pixels. So let's say we want to make the table height 300 pixels. So we'll set height attribute value to 300. And let's say we want the width 100%. So we'll set the value of the width attribute to 100%. So now we have a table having width 100% and height 300 pixels. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com. The link will be in the description. And all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. The link will be in the description, so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please hit that like button and please subscribe my channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.